Welcome to this course on Cognitive Neuroscience in Education. We are going to talk about the learning brain and how knowledge of the brain can and should inform education. Our brains are the most dynamic organs on this planet. This is an image of a connectome, a map of all the major connections in the brain. It is rich and intricate and shows some of the vast complexity of the human brain. It is these connections, this complexity, that ultimately gives rise to you, to each of us, with all of our quirks and individuality. Whilst we all share the capacity to learn without restriction, the way in which we do this is varied and ever-changing. Understanding both the similarities and differences in the learning brain can profoundly benefit the learning process. At its most basic, learning is about developing memory. To be clear, this is not necessarily memory of specific facts, events, equations or laws, but memory of processes and techniques, memory of problem-solving mechanisms, memory of key tools and practices developed during the learning process, and of course, to some degree, memory of facts. So cognitive neuroscience is a combination of cognition and neuroscience. Cognition and neuroscience together offer a specific method for understanding thought. Cognitive neuroscientists study brain processes to understand how the mind works. Let's start with cognition. This refers to what is happening in your mind. It refers to any mental action or process. These include thoughts, sensory processing, such as sight, hearing, taste, smell and touch, knowledge and learning, acquiring information and language and communication. So any mental action or process is a form of cognition. Cognitive scientists study cognition. They might look at the following cognitive processes. Memory, how we acquire and recall memory. Perception, what's going on when we see something. Language acquisition, how we acquire our first language and subsequent languages. Decision making, can scientists create circumstances in which we make decisions which we would not normally make. Problem solving, how we solve problems and navigate issues in the world. Or emotion regulation, how we regulate our emotional responses to things. And so on to neuroscience. Neuroscience is the study of the physical structure and function of the brain. It's about neurons and what is going on at a cellular level in the brain. Chemicals and hormones in the brain and how they affect brain function. And it's also about electricity flows and how the flow of information takes place with electricity. Neuroscientists use a number of different tools to study the brain. They can use functional magnetic resonance imaging or fMRI. This gives a picture of the brain with different colours lit up in different areas to see which areas of the brain are being used. There's also EEG, which provides images of electrical activity occurring in the brain or PET, which identifies specific brain receptors or transporters associated with particular neurotransmitters. Cognitive scientists and neuroscientists combine results in a specific method for understanding thought. Cognitive neuroscientists investigate any aspect of cognition by studying what is going on in the brain at the time of the thought. They study brain processes to understand how the mind works. So in summary, Cognitive neuroscience is all about what is happening in the brain. If you have found this video useful and informative, please give it a like. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe to our channel to explore more of Century's content.